Welcome to video one, Tour a Dashboard. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at a sales performance dashboard through the eyes of Anna Lidman, a sales and marketing manager for Contoso. A dashboard is a related group of interactive scorecard and report views that are organized together in a SharePoint or a web hosted site. This sales performance dashboard is a collection of pages that contains scorecards and other reports to display sales information for sales and marketing professionals at Contoso. Because it's hosted in a SharePoint site, users have easy access to other SharePoint lists and document libraries that are available. This particular dashboard was created by using Performance Point Dashboard Designer, so we will refer to it as a Performance Point Dashboard. Here we are viewing the sales amounts page of the dashboard. It contains a scorecard that shows us sales amounts across different product categories and how those compare to target values. Below the scorecard, we have an analytic chart that tells us sales amounts across our three main geographical territories. Moving to the right, we have a, a channel sales pie chart that shows us sales amounts across different channels for Contoso. And above that, we have this KPI details report that at first glance appears to display no information. However, as soon as we click in a scorecard cell, the KPI details report populates to display additional information about the scorecard value that we clicked. We also have a filter at the top of the screen. Anna can select a year from this filter, and the items that are connected to it update automatically to display information for that particular year. Using the page navigation at the top of the screen, let's have Anna click Sales Margins and we'll move over to that page. Here we see a chart called an analytic chart that shows product sales amounts across our different product categories. Below that we have a Sales Margins scorecard that tells us how sales margins are doing across our three main geographical territories. And in the upper right corner of this dashboard, we see a sales amounts and margins report. This is actually an analytic grid that tells us sales amounts, sales discounts amounts, and sales gross margins across our geographical regions. Notice that we also have two filters at the top of this dashboard screen. Anna can use these filters to display the specific information that she wants to see. And now we'll have Anna browse to the last page of this dashboard, which is called Top Stores and Products. This dashboard page contains two reports, an analytic chart that shows us sales amounts across our top 10 stores for Contoso, and an analytic grid that shows us sales amounts across our top 10 stores and across different product categories. We have a dashboard filter near the top of the screen. Anna can use this to select a period of time, such as past year or last two years. Let's review some of the concepts that we covered. A dashboard is a related group of interactive scorecard and report views that are organized together in a SharePoint or a web hosted site. The sales performance dashboard we looked at is a collection of pages that contain scorecards, reports, and filters that are hosted in a SharePoint site. Because our dashboard is hosted in a SharePoint site, we can easily navigate within dashboard pages and across different SharePoint lists and document libraries. Dashboards can vary greatly in their structure and content. For example, the sales performance dashboard that we looked at contains information that's useful to the sales team, but other dashboards are likely to contain entirely different views and information depending on user needs. In the next video, we will take a closer look at some of these dashboard items and learn a little more about how they work. Thank you for watching.